require changes in the law. Joshua Mark Hendon is a registered sex offender from Alabama. He's also a father. He wanted to live with his kids. So Hendon moved to Tennessee, just three miles from his old Alabama home. You see, in Alabama, a child under the age of 12 cannot live with their parent if he or she is a convicted sex offender. It's the law. But in Tennessee, we're told that's not the case. I think it's a big no-no. I really do. I, I, I honestly feel like that if they're convicted of that, that crime, then, then uh, you know, why would you want them living with, the, with children? Giles County Sheriff Kyle Helton says it did not take long for Hendon to reoffend. This week, a Tennessee grand jury indicted Hendon on 109 different counts. Police say he raped two young girls living nearby. It's unbelievable that how many uh, child sexual abuse cases that we're working at this time. Helton calls Hendon the latest example of a much larger problem. Tennessee laws are, are weaker than than Alabama's law. In Alabama, for example, a sex offender has to live 2,000 feet away from a daycare or school. In Tennessee, it's 1,000. Helton says Alabama sex offenders are now flocking to Giles, Lawrence, and Lincoln counties, and they're committing more crimes. In the interviews with our investigators, they are saying that Tennessee laws are more lenient, and so that's why they will move here. Tonight, Helton, with backing from the Tennessee Sheriff's Association, is pushing for a change. And he doesn't just worry about Alabama. Remember, Tennessee has eight border states. If we have the stricter laws, then ultimately they're going to find the weaker link, and that's where they're going to try to go to. State Representative Barry Dawes tells us he's already looking into it. If we find that to be the case, we will change the law. Now, we talked a lot about Alabama today, but Mississippi and Arkansas both have stricter requirements for sex offenders when compared to Tennessee as well. In Arkansas, a sex offender must not live within 2,000 feet of a school or daycare. In Mississippi, the rule is 3,000 feet. Demetria? Carly, thank you. To find out if registered sex offenders live in, in or near your neighborhood, check out this interactive map. It allows you to zoom in to specific areas, locate sex offenders, even see their faces, and learn the details of their crimes. You can find a link to it on WSMV.com. Well,